In the last section, we installed the Redux Simple Starter boilerplate package, and we installed some dependencies by using npm install. In this section, we're going to talk a little bit more about the application that we're going to build to get way more familiar with React. I'm going to start by pulling up a mock-up of the application that we're going to build. So this is it right here. We're going to build this application using only React. So no Redux just yet. We're going to get really familiar with React before we delve into Redux. So let's talk a little bit about this application. It's a video player of sorts, and it might look a little bit familiar. It's really modeled off of YouTube. So at the top, we've got a search bar. On the right-hand side, we have some videos. We have a video player in the middle. And underneath it, a video title and description of the currently playing video. When a user types into the search bar, it's going to update the video list on the right-hand side on the fly. And when they click on a video, it will start playing automatically inside the video player section right here. We're not going to use any dummy data for this application. We're going to use the actual YouTube API. So this is going to be a fully functional React application that you could deploy if you want to. So with a better idea of what we're building, we're going to come, well, we're going to come back to this mock several times and talk about you know, exactly how we're going to approach this project. But for right now, let's try getting started with the sample pro or with the boilerplate package that we just finished installing. So I'm here at the command line inside the project directory, and I've already installed all the project dependencies using npm install. I'm going to now type in the command line just npm start. This is going to start up the boilerplate package and run a local server. Remember, we write JavaScript files inside of this package, then Babel and Webpack bundle all those, all those files together, convert them to ES5, something that can be ran inside the browser, and then makes a ser local server available from which we can view all those files. So you can see here that the entire package is finished compiling. So now I'm going to go ahead, flip open my browser, and I'm going to navigate to the default host for this package, or for this boilerplate, which is localhost colon 8080. And you can see at the top, I have, very simply, React Simple Starter. Cool. Let's continue in the next section, where we'll start making some changes to the files inside the boilerplate, plate yeah, excuse me, the boilerplate package. It's a tongue twister. And see how it affects the output that we get in our browser.